All right, so before we get into this video, I just have to say how incredible this trip was. It had to have been one of the best trips I've ever taken from start to finish, first class, everything. Trevor and I felt a little bit spoiled from the hospitality, from everybody at New Tech and everybody that came together to make this trip special. All right, so before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and we will see you in South Korea. Derek, snow covered. Trasak belt pushiga, gozul tekkaji. 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 Trasak belt pushiga, you know, when you go to a foreign country, you're not sure how it's going to feel stepping off the plane. But for some reason, it just felt super comfortable. I just saw that dog. I don't know. You want to take a puppy home? Yeah, why not? Surprise Evie with it. <laughs> you a go little to, puppy. You go to South Korea to get a puppy? <laughs> yeah. So how do you feel? I mean, you got a daughter. Dude, I was just telling him, like, so she's almost six weeks old. Mm -hmm. So she's a newborn baby. And Honestly, it's like I love to travel, but it's hard to leave her at home. Like, I was kind of teared up on the way uh, out the door. So I, I hate to be away from my my wife, and my daughter. That's that's the hard part. But other than that, I mean, I'm I'm excited to be here. This is I'm living my dream. I just wish that my wife and daughter could be with me. You know? I'm sure they will next time. Like next time we come here, yeah, I'm sure they'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, watch yourself. <laughs> so the Mass 212 and Phil from TFE picked us up from the airport. We were thankful to have them come pick us up and so we went straight to sushi. Now, this isn't your normal American sushi. This is Korean sushi. This is challenging. <laughs> That's you good, sweetie. It's sticky. Slimy. I mean, the slimy. Slimy. Yeah. It's good. Warm up. Some people have allergic. Allergic? Yeah. Oh, maybe, maybe we'll just. I don't. We'll just wait here. <laughs> and Regan wouldn't eat this. <laughs> no. What? Why? Well, Dan Solomon, he tried one piece. One piece. Uh -huh. <laughs> Which one do you want me to get? Wow. Right here. Ooh, look at that. Right here, if I can get it. Go. It's gonna squirm out of my thing. Ah! Oh. Come on, get it. I can't you get it. Spoon. <laughs> right. you spoon. I use a spoon. Not easy. This is for advanced skills. <laughs> with the with the chopsticks, maybe. Oh. Good. Now. Just oh, do I dip oh, it or just go? Oh, still moving. Oh! Oh! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> hey, that might be the best thing on the plate here. <laughs> <laughs> it's fighting back. <laughs> oh, it's, been, it's good. Is it? Wow. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Easy. That's mouth. Mm. This is mouth. Oh, you, you, you you that well, that's too. crazy. Uh, this is for me. This is for Regan and for Dan Solomon. <laughs> <laughs> like it's not really that big. Mm -mm. The octopus itself. Sometimes they roll it in their chopsticks. The whole thing, and they eat it. Really? Really? But like. That you can get choked. Yeah. Some people actually die. You know what? No, I hear. But they that. still do oh. it. Oh. Oh. No. Mr. Beyond, he's taking like a whole. Was it the whole scoop? Ah. Oh. 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 Oh.
I was like, so when you ate the live octopus, what was going through your head? <laughs> what did you think of it? I was thinking, this is about to taste so disgusting. <laughs> Seriously. I'm like, but don't show it. Don't show it that it, that it that actually tastes gross. Just eat it and accept it. But honestly, it didn't taste as bad as what I thought. Yeah. It really didn't. What did you think? It was actually good. You like, actually liked it? It was good. It had good flavor. It was just yeah. chewy. Yeah. Cool. How did you feel about it being like moving? Moving? That was weird. Yeah. The, the worst part was scooping it up. Yeah. Getting it off the plate yeah. to eat it. It was. They kept wanting to like jump off. Yeah. It's impossible. It's like hard to... <laughs> Eat the whole thing or just yeah, whole thing. Yeah, oh, just a slice. Just slice. You never had it? No, I don't even know what oh. this is. Butter? Can you <laughs> ice? <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Have you tried bologna before? Mm -mm. No. Let's go, T Bug. You want somebody to feed you too? <laughs> I need to have food. Cheers. Cheers. Amen. <laughs> I would say that the sashimi was much thicker and it was a different, a little bit different texture and flavor than we're used to here in the US. But not only that, there were a lot of different types of fish and delicacies that I've never been able to try here in America. We ate live octopus, we ate puffer fish, and many other foreign type of foods that we're not familiar with. When we ate the puffer fish, do you know what I was thinking about? Have you seen the movie Law Abiding Citizen? I know which movie it is, but I haven't seen it. So like whatever he like, the, the guy gets injected with puffer fish venom or whatever it is. Really? And it like paralyzes you, but you feel everything. I was like, oh no. I felt like, I was like, should I be eating this thing? I would not. But I've always wanted to try it. I'm like, yeah. I want to try puffer fish. I would not have ate it mm -hmm. if it wasn't for locals yeah. eating it. Yeah. Like if the locals weren't eating it, I right. wouldn't have ate it. Yeah, of course. Of course. And they, they kind of shoved it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah. That was cool that the chef came and actually put it together and fed you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ew, it was a, <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So right away, we already experienced a bit of the Korean culture before we even made it to the hotel. Between the 20 hours of travel and the sushi meal, we were ready for bed. So we made it back to the hotel. And once again, this was one of the nicest hotels that I've ever stayed in. So I made sure that I got up early. I did my cardio just to have a full appetite, just in case they were right that this was going to be one of the best buffet breakfasts I've ever had. Yo. Yo, yo. Good morning. Good morning. Dude, she had me write the date down. I was like, what is the date? And she was like, the 23rd, I go, what month is it? <laughs> I, put, I put March. So while I was down in the hotel fitness center, I noticed that not only was it a really nice fitness center for cardio especially, but everybody was actually wearing kind of the same uniform. And so at first I was thinking to myself, am I supposed to be wearing this too? Or is it okay that I'm wearing what I'm wearing? Um, but I guess it was, there were, there were a couple other people that were wearing whatever they wanted to wear. Um, but I just found it was really interesting that everybody had worn the same shorts and t-shirt. So I guess that's a common thing. I'm not sure, maybe it's for the hotel, maybe it's for uh, the culture, I don't know. I just noticed that and uh, it really stuck out to, to Trevor and I as we were doing our cardio that first morning. All right, so you and I are both waiting so patiently to eat this because I know you're hungry, I'm hungry, but look at this. I have to film this first. Got Nice coffee, espresso. What was this? Watermelon coconut? Yeah, watermelon coconut juice. Yeah, so let me try some. 
Dude, that's so good. So refreshing. So refreshing. Um, fried rice with egg and shrimp, actually. Steak and eggs. And this omelet has like, it's got a little bacon in it, all right? But hey, that's how they made it, so whatever. Uh, little omelet with like, I think, mushrooms, veggies, bacon, pancakes, waffle, syrup. And then I'm not sure what these berries are, but they look good. I want to try it. But uh, this is the dessert. We're going to start here. Might have to go for round two. I think so. Yeah. This buffet is huge. Probably the biggest huge breakfast buffet I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. Yo, that steak is so good. It looks good. Dude, this is perfect. The perfect egg, man. Don't yeah. tell Jelson. Yo. I'm not even just doing that for the camera. This is really that good. Eat, bro. <laughs> just eat. Yeah, that didn't last long. So send this text message and round two. <laughs> Round three. Let me tell you, this was one of the largest breakfast buffets with the most variety of food I've ever experienced. Of course, I made sure to try to get as much protein in first, so I would get you know a couple omelets uh, with some veggies in there, as well as uh, some steak to go along with it. So steak and eggs first thing in the morning for my protein. And then, uh, of course, I had to try out some of the desserts. So I tried out some of the muffins, some of the pancakes, and uh, several other things that were there. And I don't think there was one thing that I didn't thoroughly enjoy. Some things were the best thing I would ever had, and some things were just very, very good. Yeah, I, I think I would probably go back to Korea just to stay in that hotel and eat the breakfast. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yo. Are we training together? What's up? I guess so. Good. How are you First time. Good. How are you, bro? Good. Thanks, man. You too. Hi. How are you? Hi, Derek. Nice to meet you. How are you? How are you doing? Good, man. How was the travel? It was great. It was great. Man. Yeah. After breakfast, I knew we were going to be hitting our first training session with Rigging Grimes the Mass 212, and Netflix. Or so that's what we call them. Hey, Derek, this is my YouTube channel. Could you say hello to out? Yo, welcome to the YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment below. And most importantly, make sure you share this video. That's cool. All right. We got the crew. What's up, man? How are you? Oh, hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. How are you? Let's get swole. <laughs> what are you excited the most? Huh? To get on this new tech stuff. Ooh, that right there. That's you. I like that. Look at this. How you like the picture? I love it. <laughs> if only they could feel what we feel. Bro, when the Canadians are cold, you know it's, you know it's cold. cold. <laughs> I keep my house around 65, and this is cold. Yeah. <laughs> it's so cold. <laughs> Yeah. But nonetheless, we're gonna have yeah. a killer back workout today. Mm -hmm. Me and Regan Grimes, mm -hmm. and I believe the mass. Some, yep, <laughs> the yes. mass two twelve. Uh, we're all gonna hit back together here at this brand new gym. Where are we at again? Zit Butchan. Zit Butchan. Yeah. Zit gym. Zit gym. Zit gym. Zit gym. Zit gym. Zit gym. Yeah. Isn't it? All right. With all the uh, <laughs> the brand new new tech new tech equipment. Yeah. So I'm super super excited about this. They got literally the best back equipment in the world, and we're here. Hitting it today, so stay with us. Oh, oh, I need to be in it. All right, here we go, <laughs> bro. You're getting and I'm thirsty again. Good, 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 good job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I know we're not gonna show it in this video, but if you guys want to check out the full length back workout, subscribe to the channel because 
it will be coming out very, very soon. We smashed our back workout, and so we had to fuel up by getting Korean barbecue. Now, once again, this isn't your American style Korean barbecue. This is authentic Korean barbecue. And to give you guys a little bit of an idea on how delicious this meal is, it cost two thousand dollars wow it smells so good in here no look at this oh man look at this steak bro the smell is in the air i can smell it Dude, i want to eat so so much tonight it's so clean here too yeah you know like everywhere we go like this, I mean, it's a nice restaurant. We're here at eating Korean barbecue, right? But it's like super clean. Try and stop me. <laughs> Buy me some more steak. <laughs> Round two, let's go. <laughs> Anything that costs two thousand dollars better be delicious. Better be delicious. Let me ask you, was it worth two thousand dollars? I will be going back to Korea again to get this food. A hundred percent. But that's not the most craziest thing. Wait until day three. The first, day two. All right, so day two here in Korea. And it's the first day that we're gonna go check out the expo. So we're gonna go to the new tech booth and see all the fans and supporters there. And um, yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen the booth. I haven't seen the expo, but I heard it's, it's pretty awesome. So everything here so far has been first class everything. Um, now we just go to the expo. We have some fun. So this is really cool because I've been to a lot of expos where it's mostly supplement booths, but this is all equipment and we're about to go check out the number one equipment in the world. That's, that's sick. That's pretty nice, huh? Yo, check this out. Check this booth out. So this is the first time I get to be face-to-face, one-on-one with the Korean fans at the New Tech Booth. Thank you. I know because it's 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 hard for me to like keep my elbows yeah, in. Open. So these here. Wow. Oh, so it's like one day the other one. Yeah, right there, right there, right there. Oh, is it this is so nice. Yeah, I feel like I've been missing out. Like, obviously I've done very well with the equipment that I have had, but having this is gonna take things to the next level. So, so I like to be like this, to like push away like that, or here, or like, oh, like yeah, yeah. So like, I like this one. Side, back. I like, I like 
This one mostly, but this one feels good too. So, like three waves. We're gonna go one by one, go through each of the machines, and we're gonna uh, show you guys what the features are. There's a lot of new things with the equipment, so we're gonna go through them uh, one by one. I think we should start with uh, Derek and I yesterday we trained. This is our first time on this machine and uh, it was killer. So why don't we go through that one? We do like the wide bar here, like a, a regular standard cable uh, lat pull down. This gives like a, a more natural curve to where like it's actually hitting your, like the, the the curve of your your lat muscles instead of just being in a fixed position. Not so often that you get a, a good machine that can give you a good neutral grip like this uh, to where it feels very smooth. You can hit, like he said, more of that Christmas tree, that uh, lower lat area. So as Regan said, you know, the back is a very complex muscle yeah. group. You have to be able to hit each angle. And so we just, you know, obviously show that you can hit about five or six different angles just on one machine. machine. makes it easy. We have a seat belt on the leg extension. That's how serious we're getting. Safety first. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> it's great. Awesome. Look at these things. <laughs> Of course, setting. Oh, <laughs> I've never seen one like this. Well, I think yeah. this is unique to New Tech, right? <laughs> one of a kind. So again, guys, we have another machine here in the back. 네, 등 다른 머신 중에 하나고요. Crazy stretch in the lats. As you can see, he's in the, in a large stretch. 미친 스트레칭을 할수 있고요. Coming back, he's just throwing it right in. But the coolest part about this machine, 이 머신의 제일 좋은 장점은, as you could do, you know, one or two sets at the top. 정말 이 위에서부터 시작해서, now we can bring the machine down. 머신을 아래로 조정을 할수 있기 때문에, and work in the middle of the back. 기구 하나로도, we're gonna go through the multiple ranges on the machine. So this is the one we did yesterday. Working the upper part of the back. Ah, uh, this machine is Especially the traps. 네, 승모근을, 공략, 승모근을 더 많이 자극을 줄수 있다고 하네요. Perfect. 완벽해. I didn't realize I was going to come to Korea and train three times a day. Thanks <laughs> more calories. Thanks more protein. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. It worked out good. It worked out good. There were so many fans at the booth and I got to meet so many crazy exciting bodybuilding fans. It was awesome, but the day wasn't over. We were gonna do a one-on-one -on -one meet and greet Q&A seminar at the gym. So that's where we went next. Thank you, brother. Oh, man. Oh, man, from yesterday. Dude, I love that shirt, man. Do what it? Yeah, I do. <laughs> there we go. Maybe if I go back to 212. Oh! oh yeah.
What size is it? Just three size. Just medium. Dude, is this a thousand milligrams of caffeine? Yeah, maybe. It makes you like a hard to hard to do, I guess. <laughs> Dude, I drank this yesterday, uh -huh. not realizing it was three shots of espresso. No, maybe. No, it's three shots. What the? No wonder I was wired yesterday during the workout. It has so much caffeine. How much caffeine is in three? Three shots. Like it's almost like three hundred. Three hundred. No, at least three hundred. It's at least three hundred. Yeah. Three hundred. Yikes. Unless it could be like three and a half. What was super cool about this seminar was that there were a lot of people, there were probably close to 150 people in the gym at once, but nobody was shy to ask questions. People were doing rock, paper, scissors to be able to ask their question because everybody had a question that was there and wanted to get an answer from me. So I thought that was super cool. I've done many seminars before where it was like a Q&A seminar and sometimes people get shy to ask their questions. Even though they're there to ask, they're hesitant to speak. But here, almost everybody had a question and wanted to ask. So I really enjoyed that, to be able to actually have a personal interaction with the 120, 150 people that were there. I think it went really, really well because it wasn't just your basic bodybuilding questions. There were some personal questions. There was some questions about competitors. There were some questions that were about my faith. There were just a variety of questions altogether that I really, I really enjoyed being able to speak at this seminar. And then following the seminar, we actually did a, another meet and greet to where I got to sign up more autographs, take pictures, and shake hands with, with the fans. So this was day two, and by that time it was late, and we had to get back to rest up for day three. Well, day three here in Korea, once again having an unbelievable time. Uh, Jelson is back home. I've been calling her and FaceTiming her and Evie and uh, she's feeling the FOMO. So I'm trying not to tell her how actually great it is here uh, until I get back. But that being said, um, this has probably been like one of the best trips I've ever taken uh, outside of vacationing. But, but anyway, um, day three, uh, last day at the expo. We have one more day tomorrow because we don't leave, uh, like our flight isn't until tomorrow evening. So we'll still have tomorrow to, to do whatever, train or maybe sightsee or whatever we want to do tomorrow, we have tomorrow. But today, last day to see the people who support me and come to the new tech booth and are coming to the expo. So really looking forward to that. And as you can see, we are taking full advantage of this awesome breakfast here. Uh, all you can eat. This is probably the biggest buffet I've probably ever seen at any hotel. So, uh, yeah, I found finally my favorites, but there's a lot to choose from and all of it's delicious. So, yeah, day three. Here we go. I laugh because I keep saying everything here is like delicious and awesome. Bro, this is one of the best little mini corn dogs I've ever had in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and once again, Joseph loves corn dogs like this. Like we don't really ever eat it, but like this reminds me of going to like a state fair. Yeah. And getting a corn dog. Bro, it's so good. It's like a little pancake. Have you ever heard the big black spider bled blue black blood? 
<laughs> blah, 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 blah. Do it again. I've not heard that one. Go for it. it. The big black spider bled blue black blood. Oh my gosh. The blue black spider. The big black spider bled blue black blood. Oh my, I can't even get the words. The big black blood. The big black spider blue blood. Bled blue black blood. Golly. The big black spider bled blue black blood. There you go. The big black spider blue black. Do it again. The big black spider bled blue black blood. There it is. Ah, you got it. it. All right. Hey, uh, let's go with this one. This is a simple one. I just told you. All right. Simple. Red leather, yellow leather. Red leather, yellow leather. Now say it three times fast. Red leather, yellow leather. Red fast. leather, yellow leather. Yeah, the red leather, the yellow. Did you say old yeller? <laughs> I think so. Red leather, yellow leather. Red that leather, is hard. Red leather, blah, blah, blah. I get, how do you do that? Oh. Okay, can you do uh -huh. she sells sea cells by the seashore? I think you messed that one up. How do you do it? She sells seashells down by the seashore. Ah, uh, down by the seashore. Yeah. Uh, she sells seashells down by the seashore. Blah, blah, blah. She sells seashells down by the seashore. She sells seashells down by the seashore. That one's pretty easy. Yeah. All right, this one I think is easier than the red leather, yellow leather. Blah. I can't even. I can't even say <laughs> red leather, yellow leather. It's such a fun twist. <laughs> okay. Hear, hear me out here. I'm a sheet slitter. I slit sheets. I'm the best sheet slitter that ever slit sheets. I'm a sheet slitter. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me let me put the camera on you. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay. All so right. Say it again for me. All right. I'm a sheet slitter. I slit sheets. I'm the best sheet slitter that ever slit sheets. I'm a sheet slitter. I slit sheets. I'm the best sheet sheet slitter who ever. <laughs> the best. I'm a sleet. I. <laughs> Is it I'm a sheet splitter? No, it's uh, I'm a sheet slitter. I slit sheets. I'm the best sheet. You want <laughs> I can't do it. No. I'm a sheet slitter. I, I slit sheets. I'm the best sleep. That's so hard. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sheet. I'm a sheet slitter. I slit sheets. I'm the best sleep. <sighs> you gotta do it fast. Wait in. So I'm a sheet slitter who slits sheets. I'm the best sheet slitter. What's the last one? <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more time. Wait, I'm a sheet. I'm a I'm a sheet slitter. I slit sheets. I'm the best sheet slitter that ever slit sheets. You were like, who's slitting sheets? <laughs> what does that even that, mean? Like you slit sheets. That's what that's called. Well, like that's why I was thinking maybe um, I don't know what he thinks or they they think, but I don't like. I was thinking maybe they could rope off, like we did yesterday. We rope off the the expo booth, and like the fans come crowd around and they watch us train mm -hmm. together. Because I don't think there's ever been somebody that's like been Olympians or Mr. Olympia that's trained. So, but is there enough equipment to get a good workout? Do you think? Well, it was a thought. I mean, obviously we can go to the other gym, like the more private gym. But I was like, wow, if like, if there's enough equipment there, how cool would it be for like the fans to watch us work out together? It's been such a great time and having such an awesome interaction with the fans. This was my last chance to be at the booth and do something special for the Korean bodybuilding fans. So I asked, can we actually train at the booth? I said, I don't think anybody's ever actually trained at an expo live before. And so they loved it. They thought it was a great idea. Regan and the mass decided they wanted to jump in and work out together. So we had a chest and shoulder workout. Yeah. <laughs> Try to get by, but you'll get trapped. At first, there were quite a few people watching, but as the sets and reps continued, you seen pretty much everybody at the expo gathering around the new tech booth because they wanted to film and watch us work out. So as a fan of bodybuilding myself, this is something that I would have loved to see coming up. I would have loved to see the people that were at the top of the Olympia, 
Mr. Olympia training live in front of me. So I just thought this was something special. No, I can't do that. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna mess it up so bad. I don't know. I'm a sheet slitter. I slit sheets. I'm the best sheet slitter that ever slit sheets. Can you say that? Clean, clean, clean. She said She said it. She said it. She said it. I'm sorry. Yeah. My boy. <laughs> Let's go. Is so crazy around the booth. Actually, I don't know, Trevor, did you actually get the wraparound of the booth and how big the booth actually was? Because this was like a super sized booth, too. This wasn't a small little booth. This was as big of a booth as you could get, but it was wrapped around the entire place. And then not only that was it just one line, but it was a it was a crowd around the entire booth. So that's what was cool. Once we uh, got a little bit more organization, we were able to do a one-on-one -on -one meet and greet, signing uh, belts and photos and taking pictures, which is really, really cool. So after the workout, we got to do that. And uh, that was it, guys. That was it for the, the expo. And that's when we finished off the trip with a $6,000 dinner. Thank you. Tell me to stop. Stop. Okay. He said, like, keep going. This is In my mind, you'll know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, no, I thought this was yours. Yeah. That's one. <laughs> oh, it's a Thank you for your hard work. Thank you. Appreciate you a lot for this event. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So it's like, what's it's like? Again, 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 you again. I brought it last year. In top five. Yeah. Oh, next, this following year, you're gonna win again. You're going to be top five for sure. Top five. Top five. Top five. Top five. Right, thank you so much. Thank you. So thank, much. thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Hey, tell them I don't drink with anybody. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> we have gold flakes on our sashimi. Ooh. If sashimi isn't luxurious enough, we're eating gold with, with it. Once again, they asked us, do we want sushi? Do we want Korean barbecue? It didn't matter because we actually got 
both in one dinner. We had sushi with gold flakes on it and we had top-notch steak. That being said, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying how grateful I was for this trip and for everybody at New Tech that made this possible and everybody that came together, all the Korean fans. All in all, this is one of the best trips I have ever had from start to finish, from the flight to the hotel, to the food, to the fans. Everybody was amazing. And this is absolutely a place that I cannot wait to visit again. I fell in love with South Korea. And next time, I wanna bring my wife and daughter. Does it taste better? Now it's I love you more. <laughs> I love you more. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. Great trip. Let's go train. Fifteen. Fifteen. Almost late to the airport. We go back to the hotel, pack up, shower, get going. So no time to waste. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you.